so hello there guys welcome back um, it's been a long I have made a voice tutorial so today I'm going to show you how to fix lag and stutters in Dead by Daylight now this is one of my favorite games um, favorite horror game I would say um, I've been like actually playing it a lot now um, because there are a lot of people playing it and you can easily get into a game even as a killer so um so you might think that i am using a latest firmware or i have upgraded my pc to the latest no i am actually using the same cpu and gpu as before i am using a core i5 3570 and paired with a gtx 1650 with like um 4 gb of ram um, also it's ddr5 so it's pretty old but i'm getting good frames actually um so you guys can see the game is very smooth um even with like different environments um it's pretty even with different environment it's 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 pretty cool so it's playable and i have never feel any like lag or stutters um so how do i do it okay the first thing that you need to do if you have an nvidia gpu make sure you upgrade to the latest drivers all you need to do is go to geforce experience you can just search it in your windows and make sure you are on the latest version so here i have an update so this has been released last month february 28th so i'm just gonna um, express in solid while this is being installed let's move on to the next step which is very very important so go to your task manager so this is my task manager and you can can see my cpu is running that's because i have the screen recording over here i have this thing installing over here so don't mind um, i also have steam uh, so it's boosting and it's gaining my CPU usage, um, doesn't matter now, but in your case, you want to end a lot of software. So I have here the things that I don't need. I don't need EA because I'm not using EA or anything to play Dead by Daylight. I am using Steam that I need and end your work softwares like Figma or like Microsoft Office. Just click on end Figma. So make sure you close like literally everything any desk close it figma again um, keeps on repeating um, so if you look at your what do you call this action center or something is here you need to make sure everything is close you might have spotify or like any desk or discord um, so make sure to end them successfully from here so that both your cpu and memory will be available for you to get the max performance so this is the second step so what do you need to do next is you go to your nvidia control panel right and here go to image settings with preview and choose the third option use my preface emphasizing and choose it as performance right you don't want quality if you're making like good videos for better quality make sure to click quality but in this case you need max performance you need to enjoy the game playable uh, make sure to click the performance here all right so that's the main step that you need to do and the installing graphic driver is still pending all right that's no problem so that's the main thing that i use to boost my pc's performance so as you guys can see let me open up the task manager again i don't have any game boosters or similar software like that to you know improve my game or improve my pc's performance there is no software in this world that will improve your PC's performance you either have to optimize your software which I have just done so the second option is to upgrade so 
literally there is no software that would increase your PC's performance there are like other softwares in the internet called game booster or something similar which does nothing but reduces or like decreases your PC's performance um, but people fall for it because one thing that they have is they have they need to get the game running and if the software is free they will definitely try it and forgets to delete or remove it but it actually reduces the performance of your PC do not install such softwares called game boosters or something similar which would drastically decrease your PC's performance rather fix this stuff so a game needs your CPU a game needs your memory and your network and disk so if you clear these things up it will definitely improve your game so right now I have the latest drivers if you look at my GeForce experience and go to drivers I have the latest driver here you guys can see uh, I have the latest GeForce game ready driver here so that's pretty much it about this video make sure that you have ended all the unnecessary softwares that you don't need so currently you see my CPU is idling at like 7 10 percent even with recording memory is also idle it's not boosting up so that's pretty much about this video guys um enjoy dead by daylight uh, i'm gonna play it too so yeah if you guys like this video make sure to click that thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching